shoes. Our friends over at Ace PC got a hold of Gary on the email box, and they said, we want to send Zoo a Pico Box light. It's a mini PC. And Gary said, I don't know what that is. And I said, well, I barely know what that is either. But we're going to give it our best shot for you. You, the viewers. So I'm going to see what's in this box, huh? Eh. What do you got here? An Ace PC Pico Box light. It's the AK7 Pro. It's got eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of ROM, and it has a Jasper Lake N5 105 CPU. My CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. Ooh, what we got here? The PC, what's in the rest of the box? Ah! Oh, well, there goes the resale value. Got a HDMI cord, power cord. What's this? Ooh some screws, and I guess this is to mount it onto the back of a monitor or a TV. That's pretty cool. Got a user manual. There's three pages of instructions. That's it, turn it on and connect the Wi-Fi. And the main event, the Ace PC. Ooh, is that plastic on there? Ooh, that's smaller than I thought it would be. Not by much. You have two HDMI outs. You got USB, you got LAN, you got your power port, you got your aux cable. Three more USBs on this side, what seems to be a power button, and uh, that's it. Looks like you got fan vents on both sides. I don't know if there's a fan in here or not. We're going to find out. I'm going to peel off this. Ooh. Nice. So I guess we're going to plug this in and hook it up to a monitor and... Uh, see what we can do. So you can see here we have an Intel Celeron N5105 processor. It runs at 2 gigahertz. It has 8 gigs of RAM installed. Comes with 64-bit version of Windows 11 Pro. This looks to be the latest version. And uh, it's just not a tremendous amount of power, but for the price, it's not too bad. Now, as I said before, this was given to us by our friends at Ace PC, and you'll notice the Pico Box Lite is two hundred dollars which uh, may be a little bit too expensive but between now and halloween you can get sixty dollars off which means this will be about what 140 bucks and for 140 bucks that's not bad that moves it into the realm of you know what this could be a nice little plex server i can mount behind my tv i could velcro a hard drive to this and it could be the media center for my house but that's not the focus of of my videos i want to see what kind of games i can play on here so we're going to start off with some PC games. We're gonna see how badly I can break this with a, oh heck, let's try Fallout 4. I don't think it'll run. And then some indie games. And then we're gonna do a little bit of an emulation showcase. Wait a minute. Hey, pass Zoo, shut up. While I'm thinking about it, this thing has dual 4K output. And I just wanted to see how many frames we're gonna have. Oh, I just wanted to see how many frames we're gonna have drop here. And outside of one random hiccup that just happened, uh, it's, it's cruising along with this 4K video. So you should have no problems with 4K output, see? That says 4K down there. Oh, zoo. You silly goose. A lot of goofs and gags. <laughs> Fooled ya. Well, <laughs> Fooled ya. Well, I figured we'd start out with Fallout 4, see if we could break the computer right off the bat. Low quality. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm also using this controller. I can put a link in the description. It's just like a generic Xbox controller. It's got macro buttons on the back. This isn't great. I wouldn't say it's super playable. But it's doing better than I thought it would. I figured it wouldn't even load Fallout 4 properly. I'm gonna murder Preston Garvey. Hey, Preston. Thanks for the minigun. I think Preston's a Terminator. Preston, how come you're not dead? The hell? Well, Fallout 4 plays better than I thought it would. Let's get this controller out of here. We don't need it for some of these games. This is how you died. Uh oh. There's a friend here to see us, Gary. Oh, that's. Did you just break my window? <sighs> Super rude. You can see it kind of chugs when you zoom out. This could be a pretty decent little rig for some light indie games. My stolen cop car. 
Hey, Tom. How you doing? You going to work? All right, I'll see you. Maniacs, get out of the road. Out of my way. This thing of hippies, get out of my way. I gotta go to work. Holy macaroni. Steve's already on site. Now listen, uh, sir. Sir? Drop it. Gary, I think we screwed up this time. Yeah. Let's go find a nice, safe place to eat our beef jerky and die in peace. <sighs> Dang it. All right, that's enough screw around with indie games. We are going to uh, do some emulation next. Let's just jump right into the deep end. I have zero faith this will work, but you never know. 3DS doesn't work. Let's try regular DS. Now DS games will play fine on here. You, the screen's a little stretched out. It might not be the best experience, but it will run DS. See if it'll run GameCube. It's the box. This is running GameCube pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good GameCube performance, I tell you what. I'm not going to say there aren't graphical issues and some sound glitching, but GameCube is way more playable on this than I thought it would be. Jeez. Well, it'll play N64 at two or three times resolution, no problem. It's almost playing too fast. Oh, what are you going to do about it? So yeah, N64 plays beautifully on here. Let's see how PlayStation 2 works. Well, I tell you what, PS2 performance on here isn't bad either. FPS drops a little bit in these big open areas like this, but it only goes down to 55. It's still super playable. It's not the end of the world. Ugh. Okay. Well, looks like PlayStation 2 is kind of a mixed bag. JRPGs will be okay. Racing games don't, uh, they don't want to run. I died. Just for fun, let's see if Xbox runs on here. Well, Gary, what did we learn? We learned that this little mini PC 
has a surprising amount of power, and now, until Halloween, it's only $140. Now, at $200, hmm, but at $140? I mean, there's a lot of things you can do with this for $140. Bucks. Outside of the fact that you can just use it as a little Windows PC, you could plug a Botticera drive in there. It'll play up to some GameCube, a little bit of PlayStation 2, and everything underneath that relatively well. You can output dual four uh K. How you make a K? K. There you go. Which means you could plug this behind your TV and put a hard drive on there and use it as a media center for that TV. You could set it up as a Plex server. You could set it up as any sort of media server you want. You can use it for all sorts of stuff. And at $140, it's not too expensive. Now, it's not the most powerful. It doesn't have a graphics card. It has an integrated graphics chip. So you're not going to be able to get a lot of power out of it. But for $140, bucks, it's not too bad. I don't know. When I first started with this, I said, eh, it's not too impressive. But then the more I got into Botto Sarah and uh, some of these PC games, I said, you know what? It's kind of punching outside of its weight class, right? I didn't think it would play any Fallout. It doesn't play it great, but it played a lot more than I thought. I didn't think it would play GameCube. I didn't think it would play PlayStation 2, and it played some of that. For 140 bucks, you get a dual-use Windows PC. You can also turn into kind of a, a gaming box. Super small. You can tuck it behind a TV. You can mount it behind a TV or a monitor. You can tuck it on your entertainment center. There's a lot of possibilities. You could even mount it to the back of a monitor and put it inside of a little wood box and make yourself a barcade. You could play all those Naomi games we went through. It can play a ton of arcade games all the way up to Naomi. And with the power it does have, you could have a pretty good time setting this up as a barcade. I guess my takeaway would be if you're looking for a relatively cheap mini PC, you can do basic Windows stuff, you can play some basic games, this isn't a bad option. Give it a look. Uh, I think Aish, they sent him a more powerful version of this. He's going to go over that. And I have another one on the way that is super powerful. It might be too powerful. So we're going to test that out. We'll get both sides of the gamut. The entry-level budget for 140 on sale now and the, the more higher-end one. So it's just me, your old buddy Zoo, and, and Gary, and Jack the Cat's around here somewhere, and Quinlan, and the whole gang, reviewing mini PCs now. Ain't that neat? I like it. I think mini PCs are kind of neat. So if you're looking for a mini PC under $150, uh, you know, check out uh, Ace PC. They might have the computer for you. All right, Gary, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed now. If you guys are, if it's nighttime in your area, you should go to bed too. You always get plenty of sleep. If you don't get sleep, you know, you... Your whole day is screwed up. You know what I always say? Don't do milk, get plenty of drugs, and always drink your sleep. Wait, what?